Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you some methods to fix Xbox error code 8015190A, your console can't connect to Xbox Live. Method 1, clearing the alternative MAC address. Go to Settings. Go to General. Select Network Settings. Going to Advanced Settings. Select Alternate MAC address. Select Clear. Restart your console, then check if the issue persists. Method 2, use manual alternate port selection. Going to Settings. Going to Network Settings. Going to Advanced Settings. Going to Alternate Port Selection. Over here, select Manual. Over here, choose Next one down in list. Select Continue, then check if are you able to connect to Xbox Live yet? If not working, please come back there, then try one by one port in list. Method 3, use manual DNS. On the home screen, going to settings. Going to network settings. Going to advanced settings. Select DNS settings. Select manual. Here, I will use Cloudflare DNS. So, I will type 1.1.1.1 as the primary IPv4 DNS. And I will type 1.0.0.1 for the secondary IPv4 DNS. Additionally, you can also try with other DNS such as Google DNS, OpenDNS, etc. Once done, press the menu button on your controller to save and see if the problem is fixed. Method 4, Power Cycle the Router. To do that, you need unplug the modem and router from the power outlet. Wait at least 15 seconds. Plug the modem back into the power outlet first, wait 1 to 2 minutes, then it's time to power on the router. Wait for all panel lights on your cable modem to become green on before testing your internet connection. Connect to the network with your console and test the internet connection. It's always better to test this by connecting with an ethernet cable if possible. Method 5, turn on two-step verification on your account. If you don't have two-step verification enabled on your Xbox Live account, please visit this Microsoft website then turn that feature on. Here I have enabled this feature so it will show as turn on. So, when you're done, just log in your account to Xbox Live and you should be good. Method 6, Toggling on off recurring billing. To fix this error, Microsoft recommends that you try toggling on or off recurring billing on any Xbox subscriptions, and many people have successfully fixed this problem using this method. So if it was turned on, then turn it off, and vice versa, try connect to Xbox Live again and if it worked, change it back to what you wanted it to be. Method 7, try connecting to a different wireless network or different the router. If you have more than one router, try replacing the router you are using with another router. We do this to eliminate the possibility that the problem is caused by the router's strict security features. If that's not possible, try connecting to a different wireless network, such as a neighbor's wireless network, mobile data, LTE, 4G, 5G, etc. After that, just started logging your account, then switched back to your regular internet. And everything should work. Method 8, check server status. Just navigate to Xbox support. Over here, going to Xbox status. If you see any services with alerts, expand the service, scroll down to notifications, and sign in to receive a message when the service is up and running again. Method 9, factory reset your router. To do that, make sure keep your router plugged in. Next, find your router's reset button. This will be on the back or the bottom of your router. Use a paperclip or similar object to hold down the reset button for 30 seconds. Release the button. Wait for the router to power back on, then start your game and check if you can log in. Method 10, Factory Reset the Xbox Console. To do so, go through the following instructions. Go to Settings. Go to System. Select Console Info. Select Console Info. Over here, select Reset Console. Then, Xbox will show you the following three options. 
Option 1, reset and remove everything. Option 2, reset and keep my apps and games. And option 3, cancel. The first option will reset your console and also delete everything from your console. Hence, if you have saved all your games to the cloud, you can select this option. But if your saves are not on the cloud, we suggest you select the reset and keep my apps and games option. This will reset your Xbox console without deleting your game data. Finally, if none of the above methods work, please contact Xbox support for the best assistance. Just patiently chat with them and tell them the details of your problem. That's it guys. Hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.